Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's find out how to make our own Breaking Bad titles. If you're like me and you love Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, well, I want to show you how to make these lower third titles that I saw on a uh, channel that featured interviews with the, with the cast, and I'll link that in the description. Great channel, great interviews. And I love the way that, that the titles worked. And the reason I thought they would be a good example is because they show the regular title and images and video all in one and type and the animation. And when you break it down, it isn't that difficult to, uh, to figure out. So let's break these apart and then I'll, I'll show you a few tips like positioning. Okay, let me just play both of these for you. All right, so let's go back to the first one here. I'll select it and I'm going to go to my graphics workspace. And if you're new to um, working with the essential graphics, I've got a whole playlist on working with them. But what's important is we're going to be going between the effects controls and the effects. And when you go to the graphics workspace, depending on the size of your display, you might hide that. So I'm going to make sure that I can see my effects down here and the effects controls up here, because that's where we're going to animate things. In the essential graphics, click on the edit, and this is where you add all of the pieces. So the, the first part is really this mask, and the mask is a shape. So if I turn this off, you'll see a shape, and the color doesn't really matter. The shape is a rectangle, and it has the setting set mask with shape, which means it's going to uh, crop everything into that. It's a shape that acts like a mask. So whatever you do to it, including moving its position, animating it, and its own transparency, it's going to mask based on that. So if we look at the color, click on the fill, you can choose to have something as a solid, linear, or radial gradient. With a linear gradient, just like in Photoshop, you've got not only colors at the bottom, but opacities at the top. So this is 100% and this is 0%. So it fades to nothing. And that's what you see on the edge there. Uh, again, I was trying to copy the same titles and they have that fade off. And I guarantee you they were made in After Effects, which you can do the same thing. It's just, I love doing things in Premiere Pro, two reasons. First of all, it's way faster because it's gonna play back in real time. And you don't have to leave uh, Premiere Pro to go and make it somewhere else. Everything is right in here. So that's the first thing. The type layers are pretty simple. They're just the words on the screen. And if we look back here, there's just a little bit of opacity changes. So a little bit of opacity from zero to 100, and then the next one down here, zero to 100. So that's no biggie. But if you do look at the, the design here, what I've got is I have a shadow that's at 91%, but it's also very, very sharp. It's very tight. It's very subtle, but it just helps the words pop off. And then the other one is just a fill, a standard fill. So that's pretty easy. If you look at the top, I've got a crop, and that's what the effects are down in the bottom. If you just search for crop and add a crop, and I place that right at the top, when you select the crop, you can see the crop. And if we move this back, you'll, you can see the crop work. And let me just turn off the video in the background. And you see the crop 
crop. And you might be wondering, if the crop is here, why do I see something over there? You see it because I have an edge feather of 255. So with an edge fe feather of zero, it's, it's a sharp edge. The more you feather it, the softer that edge gets. So I have this all the way out to the right and it stays soft. And then the rest of, of that edge that fades out is because of that linear gradient on the shape that's acting like a mask. So really it's two masks interacting. Okay, so that's, that's easy. We got a crop, we got type, we've got a shape. Now let's look at the two other things in here. And that is, let's go back to here and the periodic table. If you notice when the title comes up, the periodic table is in the background and you can see it's also cropped with that crop, but it's very subtle and then it fades away. It only shows very teasingly right at the beginning. So let's look at the periodic table and you can see that it goes from 0.4 to zero, so very, very subtle. And it's a Photoshop file, so if we open this up and I turn on my transparency grid, but I made this in Photoshop where it was white text and saved it as a PSD, a regular Photoshop file. It's easier to do it that way because um, then the transparency is built in. You're not dealing with saving PNGs. Remember, I'm, I'm working in an Adobe environment, so why not use PSDs when, when they're useful? So again, I drop that in and then add that. Now, the real interesting part is the video in the background. And that video is dropped in at the bottom. It has a tint on it, and again, if we go back to our effects and look for tint, you just add the tint. And if we go to our effects, you can see there's the color. I mapped white to that. So if I turn that off, that's what the, the smoke looks like. It's, it's a very whitish blue. And then when I add that, it gives it that Breaking Bad green kind of feel to it. And it's cropped because remember that mask is cropping that. So when I turn that off, you see the smoke showing up everywhere. Right? When I have that masked, then it works just like that. So there's the crop coming out. There's the periodic table appearing, the smoke, the shape, the type. And then by this time, the periodic table is gone and the type stays on the screen. And then I just have this cut off. I could animate the outside edge if I wanted. I could animate everything backwards. So I could animate the whole crop back over to the, the other side. Now let's look at using the same technique, but replacing the smoke with fire. So you can see, same idea. And if you look closely, there's the periodic table that comes in. There's the fire. But what I found with the fire, let me just find my fire here. What I found was the fire is too much. See how the smoke is subtle? It's mostly black and then comes up where the fire is, is really, really um, strong. And it obscures the periodic table. Well, look at the blue highlight. That's showing me where this is. Remember, if I open up this fire, you can see it's a large full frame video. And you'll notice that there's darker edges up here and more fire down there. Hmm. So why don't I just move the whole fire video lower? You can do that over in the essential graphics. If I grab the fire, the position controls are right here. There's no keyframes on there. So if I just click and drag this to the right, it moves it down. And remember, it's gonna stay inside that shape, that masked shape. 
So now I'll bring the fire down to here and see what happens. Now we can see more of the periodic table and the fire comes up a little bit more subtle. I don't know about you, but I could play with this kind of stuff all day long. And if you save this as a motion graphics template, a Mogurt, then you can use this in any of your projects. Really easy and very easy to flip out that, that back, um, uh, the, the fire or the smoke and make it clouds or sparks or sparklers or flowers or bouquet. You know, you've got some out of focus stuff happening in the background. Really fun to be creative with this. I'm going to stick this on the members uh, section of videorevealed.com. Um, I can't give you the fire and the smoke because they're part of ArtGrid, which I'm a uh, member of ArtGrid. Um, but uh, you can go and, and find your own smoke and fire and, and stuff, but I'll put these in the uh, uh, member section so you can download them. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you have found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, which means you can get to the member section. You can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Uh, you can donate once or monthly, any amount. There's a bunch of uh, things that you can download for free and uh, some stuff that you can buy, like the tickers and the split screens. And once you remember, you get to the member site and you can download stuff like this. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to keep my eye out on things that are really cool and, and pretty easy to do and show you how you can do them and even give them to you for free.